What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the Auto Shop Life, hanging out with me, Jim, JRC54. So, I know it's been a while since we've done some tool videos. You know, I've been busy between, you know, building the Civic, being busy at the shop, growing out this beard, you know, it just haven't had time for everything and getting normal videos out there, you know, at least once or twice a week. I'm trying guys, I'm trying. But, uh, want to get into this one. I bought uh, four blow molded cases off the tool truck. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so last two weeks got a couple kits off the tool trucks, a uh, couple Couple ones I've been needing, you know. I I finally I finally broke off some money and bought myself a you know a better tap and die set than the one I've been using. You know, pretty much I even forgot where I got it from. Maybe Menards or Harbor Freight years and years ago. You know, it's been it's been taking care of business. It's been serving its purpose. But it's time to upgrade. Time to get a better kit. Um, and then I'm kind of starting a I'm starting a drawer. You know, pretty much a, you know a drawer that's nice to have, but you know. It's nice to have it when you have it, but you hate opening it when you need it, which is uh, when shit hits the fan drawer. So I'll show you, we'll dive down in, I'll show you what I picked up through Snap-on. Got two from Snap-on, got two from Cornwell, pretty cool kit from Cornwell. Let's dive right into it. All right guys, so you know how I like to show these tools pretty much up close and personal. Get here at the workstation. I'll also be showing you some, you maybe close up clips here and there, but the first kit I got, these two go together pretty much, you know, bit extractor, tap and die, all that stuff. Like I said, I'm going to be starting, uh, you know, a drawer here in the toolbox that's pretty much dedicated to, you know, any broken bolts, strip bolts, you know, things like that. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe some left-handed drill bits, what this kit has, extractors, turbo sockets, anything like that. I'm going to put all in one drawer. So, uh, you know, like I said, when I need them, I, I pretty much have them all in one place. But... Finally broke off some money, got a pretty good tap and die set from Snap-on, obviously made by Irwin, but we'll start off with this uh, Master Extractor set, which is pretty nice. You can see the part number on this one, EXDM S48, and it pretty much has your, uh, you know, your fastener extractors on here, pretty much, you know, like your turbo sockets, nothing better than, uh, you know, nice sharp teeth on these. I do have a few sets made by Irwin, I'm pretty sure this set's probably made by Irwin also. But uh, got another set of these all in one place. Got the uh, a set of left-handed drill bits. How many are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces. And pretty much looks like just pretty much the standard sizes on here. Um, it doesn't say it on the blow molded cases. And these are probably too tiny to be able to tell. It's pretty hard to tell from, from the looks at maybe something like you know, five sixteenths on down through, I might be able to read this one, half inch. So these are the left-handed drill bits, you know, definitely nice to have. Um, you know, anytime you're working with a, a broken stud, you know, and you're planning on extracting it out, I've never had really good luck with these kind of extractors. Um, you know, especially the smaller sizes. I do have another kit of these from Snap-on, but the smaller sizes like this, you know, do tend to break. I've had to warranty it. And once you break this little piece off inside there, I mean, it's pretty much game over. So I try to steer clear of using these unless all else fails, you know, I guess I will try it. Um, but the bigger ones, you know, if you get a strong enough hole and that stud or bolt is gonna come out, you know, these do help it out. But I more or less like to use these, you know, more coarser, Thread, fine thread extractors, these do work good with those uh, like stuck ABS sensors for the plastic. You get those ABS sensors that get stuck inside the spindle and all that stuff. These do work great getting them out. Um, but more or less, it's just a nice kit to have. You know, something I've been lacking, you know, maybe had, you know, a few of these. I think I do have a full set of these. Had a couple of these scattered here and there, a couple left-handed drill bits scattered here and there, and then the, the set by itself of these things. So it's kind of nice to have it all in one you know, when I need it, just bust out the blow molded case, be able to look for the size I need, you know, pretty much good size coverage for it. So it's not like I like to use it and hopefully I don't, but I have it in case I need it. So I'll spend some money on that, pick that up off the snap on truck, 48 piece set, pretty nice. I'll try to leave a link in the description 
um, you know, maybe an Irwin link or something like that where you guys could pick something like this up. Of course, it's not going to be Snap-on branded. The 76 piece tap and die set. This is a set that I've, I've been looking at for a few years now, I'd probably say. Um, I think this is the middle one. They have one where it's, you could buy it separately, like a standard metric set, you know, in a cheap button up blow molded cases or little cases. And then I, they, they do have, I think, a bigger set than this. And then obviously, uh, you know, a bigger size also. So like 146 piece or something like that. You guys leave it down in the description. Quote me if I'm wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. But, uh, Got this probably a week or two ago, um, and it, it, I've already used it. I've already used it probably four or five times, but it's a great kit. You got uh, lifetime warranty on these, which you know you, you can't beat that with a stick. Um, this thing is rebanded by Irwin. Irwin doesn't even offer the lifetime warranty, but obviously getting it through Snap-on, you know, it's pretty much going to take care of anything you need to take care of outside of losing them. You know, I wish there was a warranty on losing them because uh, lose tools all the time. You know, it is what it is, but uh, definitely a nice kit. You know, these things do have that little uh, punch pin in there so you could keep it straight when you're retapping the bigger sizes. Um, but like I said, guys, nothing better than, you know, brand new sharply cut teeth, you know, working with a tap and die set, not something that's all worn out like the one I've been using or ones that missing pieces and all that stuff. You know, this is a great kit, you know, between this kit putting in the drawer, you know, the, the thread chaser kit I got, um, you know, whatever's left of the old tap and die set. This thing does come with, uh, you know, the little T-handles that uh, the dies just fit in there. You could tighten them into here. It does got a little set screw on there, so you could tighten it up. Um, lots of oil comes on there too, but uh, pretty great kit. You know, I find funny, you know, I, I know I know Irwin makes this and, and Snap-on rebrands it, but I mean, the little screwdriver that comes in there to where, you know, you could tighten up all the pieces and all that stuff, I mean, you know, it's, you think Snap-on do a little better than that. Like, come on, Snap-on, for what we paid for this, you know, for what people paid for this and what I paid for it, you know, throw an instinct handle screwdriver in there or something. Not this little Ikea screwdriver that, you know, any kind of torque or whatever, that little plastic handle is breaking off. But it is what it is. You know, it's got your little thread uh, to find your thread sizes and all that stuff, a little thread gauge, standard and metric. Um, I tend to... Uh, not use these little T handles too much. I do use the I do use these Delisle sockets. Anytime I'm kind of tapping with with the with the taps, you know the, these sockets do just fit in here. So instead of using the T handle and you know if anything's in the way, you're kind of hitting it with the handle and all that stuff. You know just put this on a ratchet and that way you could kind of get it in straight. And these do lock in there and all that stuff. I got the set through Lyle. I could also put a part number to these down in the description. But another thing that's going to go in the Oh shit drawer, get taken care of, um, but definitely a nice kit. Here's all the sizes laid out, pretty much cover, uh, you know, a pretty decent majority of your metric, pretty decent majority of standard sizes, NC, NTP, thread pitch, and all that stuff. Um, it was time, it was time guys, you know, I, I uh, not that I was beating around the bush, but you know, these are tools that, you know, I don't like to use. Because of certain reasons, you know, people know, you know, breaking out these tools, you know, it's never fun unless you're doing customized work, which is another reason why I got this kit. Obviously, working on that Civic, I am doing custom holes, rerouting things, you know, uh, relocating the battery and all that stuff. So this is kind of nice to, you know, maybe cut my own hole or tap my own hole in the firewall and the trunk and the things I've been using it for. But definitely a great kit to pick up. I will leave a link for the Irwin one down in the description if I could find it for you guys, but definitely a great one to look at. And uh, you know, also nice handy blow molded case, which is pretty nice. So getting into, I got from Cornwell, um, you know, I, I love getting on the Cornwell truck. You know, I always find stuff on that truck that, uh, you know, I don't really see in other places. You know, obviously here at the shop, the only two trucks that come here is pretty much Cornwell and Snap-on. 
Um, you know, anything outside of that I'm picking up offline or seeing through, you know, other guys YouTube channels and things like that or in catalogs. But, uh, you know, jumping on Tim's truck, it's always cool to see. He tries to keep up with these uh, cool tools and things like that. But this first blue case here um, is a uh, terminal set, a master terminal set. And some of the, some of the little pieces in here is, uh, you know, ones I've never seen, never, never realized that I've used. You know, I'm one of those guys that, uh, you know, if I'm repinning something or, you know, messing with a terminal, you know, I use whatever tool I can use to get that terminal out without damaging it. But this kit, I'd have to say, you know, between uh, the Deutsch terminals, you know, that actually push it out also. I don't know if you guys are seeing that, you know, it, the outside unlocks it and then this actually pushes it out, you know, for those GM trans piece, uh, you know, for the GM TCM harnesses inside the transmission, you know, the Volkswagen, all that stuff. I mean, it looks like this kit is all here. It even has ones that maybe look like nonsense, you know, ones that are probably repetitive or look like other ones, or obviously, you know, using this, you could use the other tool too, but it is a great looking kit. I mean, I definitely see for the cost, I think it was maybe just over a hundred bucks I picked this thing up from. Um, you know, Cornwell branded. I'm not sure who makes this kit, but part number on it is CTGT42S. And I will try to find a link to something like this. Put it down in the description for you guys. But this kit alone, you know, I have to say, I picked this kit up this Wednesday. And the very next day, I actually needed one of the terminal tools in this kit that I do not have, you know, in my Snap-on kit and other terminal tools. So, you know, great kit to have. I love when I buy tools. You know, you buy tools thinking, ah, do I ever need this? I got by this far without needing something like this. And then the very next day you use something, you see something in the kit, the toolkit that you just purchased that you need for the job at hand, you know, and that always, to me, you know, the, the tool pretty much pays for itself right there. So, but I definitely love it. It's definitely nice. It's got like the, the like billet eye, iodized metal on here and it's knurled. I know these are kind of smaller and all that stuff, but you know, when you're working with terminals, obviously the harnesses are usually smaller obviously the terminals are pretty small so you know having this kit you know a bunch of them up top here a spot for every single one of them it does have that little uh seam ripper you know for uh this is more for sewing but it's the loom ripper you could obviously open up looms with it you just got to be careful with this these things will cut through if you don't have it in there right it will cut through the wires in the loom on you but great kit some of these like i said i uh don't even know the harness that I'd be using them on, but you know, to have a wide variety, you know, it's kind of labeled, you know, BMW, Mercedes, all the way down from Ford, Jaguar, um, more GMs, Audi, Volkswagen, things like that, domestic imports, you know, for the smaller ones, great little kit, definitely a great little kit. Um, like I said, some of them are repetitive and some of them you could use for other ones and all that, but having everything all in one molded case, knowing where everything's at, knowing that if I have one out, I could see the spot where it is, so I'm not losing tools. I could tell I'm missing one, that way I could find it before the job's over with or before the end of the day, and I'm not losing these things. I like to have everything organized. You guys know how I run my channel. You guys know how I run my shop. I like to keep everything neat, organized, all together. Great little kit by Cornwell. Definitely a cool pickup. And then this, this last one I got off Tim, looking at this kit on his truck. I could definitely find times in my career that something like this would have definitely came in handy. They're calling it uh, camshaft, crankshaft seal tool kit, uh, part number 70960, PBT, made by PBT. So this kit, just, just, the week before I picked this up, I could definitely find a way, something I could use this on, and it was something on the Civic and then the Lexus we were doing timing on, those cam seals, you know, pulling the cam seals. I personally have never really seen a kit this extensive for something like this. I do have, you know, separate front seal kits, you know, to pull seals on Audis and things like that, you know, by themselves, kind of look like this. Actually, I could probably grab it for you guys. So, so before we look at this, 
you know, having specialty tools, obviously a seal puller is a seal puller. You know, you, it's not like you could reuse seals, but getting them out sometimes kind of a pain in the butt because tight areas and things like that. This seal kit is for um, the Audis, you know, seal remover and installer. You know, you could buy a kit like this, which cost me, you know, probably 150 bucks for a kit like this to take care of a front seal kit on a customer's car. I had to specially buy this tool to take care of that seal. But looking at this kit here for pretty much 150, you know, I paid 150 bucks for this. I think this whole kit alone cost 150 bucks and with a more ride variety. Now I know looking at these pieces, that Audi, you know, front seal that I pulled out, I would probably be able to pull it off with this kit alone. You know, it has the little piece here, pretty much just like a steering wheel puller or something like that. Obviously you would take the bolt out, you know, get these little hooks here and these little guys would hook you know, you would hook it around the seal and then of course it would connect to here and then you could just drive that seal out. You know, these would pull out and you could pull the seal out and then it's got all the adapters to reinstall it. So definitely a great kit. Um, you know, I still got to get to know how to use this kit. I have not used it yet once, but I could definitely understand the concept. It has the, uh, you know, some longer ones. So obviously if the crank comes out a little bit more, whether it's on a front seal, a cam seal, a rear, rear seal, I can see myself using this thing, you know, maybe even outside of its purpose here, call that tool abuse if you want, but you know, I use the tool to get the job done, you know, whatever it takes to get the job done correctly and, you know, done right, whatever tool, by whatever tool I have on hand is how I'm doing it. So, but definitely a great little kit. This thing's definitely built well. You can tell quality metal. Um, all the pieces are here, all the cavity. I dig blow molded cases, but you can see this stuff is, uh, you know, no burst, nice and smooth machine pretty nicely all the sizes here for the bigger seals this is probably like uh probably use something like this for a tail shaft seal on a transmission um i really like the kit you know he, he actually brought this to me too he told me about it i was talking about a timing job or whatever or a seal i don't know how it got brought up but a good tool guy you know read you and kind of sees what you're into what you're working on things like that like hey i got a tool for you to make your job easier and that's kind of how this thing got brought up i never knew really knew there was kits like this together for a seal like this and then to have one that could not only pull them but could reinstall them also is a nice one to have guys i will try to leave another link for this one down in the description like i said i haven't seen too much of it you know it's even got the onset for those seals that stick out you can get in there you're not mashing up the metal or messing up the spring inside there when reinstalling them great little kit definitely a great little kit i can't wait to put this one to use on the next timing job i do or whatever but here's a little demonstration of how to use it you guys can see this is probably like on a uh, you know a cam seal on a four cylinder or something like that. You can see how you flip it around the seal. You know you'll install the tool, pull it out, it pulls the seal out, and then obviously to reinstall it like any seal or you know bearing or race set kind of more or less. It even comes with a little CD. I don't know if that CD tells you how to use it or whatever, but kind of look at the pieces. Anybody that knows what they're doing can kind of get the concept. Obviously you're going to match up the dies with the seal. Use the tool to extract it. Great little kit. Definitely a great little kit by Cornwell. Alright guys, so we get this one wrapped up. <clears throat> a few things to cover real quick. I wanted to uh, reach out to you guys. Let me know down in the description. Guys, do you want to see more of the Civic build? You know, I got a lot going on, coming down the pipeline on it. Still talking about the turbo. I have not yet bought a turbo for it, but I got a company that may be sponsoring me. Um, you know, we'll see what's about. I'll wait a while, see how that plays out. If not, I'm gonna probably jump on Go Auto Works or something, buy a turbo or something like that. You guys let me know what you want to see on that. Um, I don't want to bore you guys. You know, I, I am a shop owner, um, you know, running this channel more or less, keeping between these how-tos I do, the modifications, these tool pickups that we do. You know, I, I kind of want to go on, everything is, is good enough for me. It all interests me and it's stuff I like to do, but I want to focus on more or less what you guys like to see on the channel. I know I've been busy lately between everything just going on, you know, between shop, house, the Civic, everything else. I got another new guy here at the shop, but uh, we'll get back in it. Like, like I said, at least one video a week to two videos a week. Um, I want to do a couple how-to videos, things like that, uh, wrap up on some long-term reviews on some of the tools I do have that you guys want to see, but let me know what you guys think of these pickups. These blow, call this video uh, 
you know, the blow mold case tool haul video. Uh, a couple great ones. Like I said, Cornwell never ceases to come through for me. You know, they never cease to amaze me. They're always coming through. Tim's always coming through with these new great tools, even bringing them in and then snap on. You know, they're pretty much uh, expected. You know, you come through with snap on tools. You know, a lot of things from snap on I've wanted for a long time. So there's still a lot of things on the list that I'll just keep on picking up over time between everything else and then any kind of new stuff they come out with. But uh, I am looking at that uh, Solus Legend. Thinking about picking that up for the shop. We did do the giveaway on the Modest. Ed, hope you're enjoying that. Uh, still waiting on the video or the post on Instagram to tag me in, but uh, hope you're enjoying that one. But as always, guys, we'll go ahead and wrap this one up. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we will catch you in the next one. Signing out.